What is up everybody, Video Addict here, and I've got a box from Barrel and Blade. I don't know where the video cut off, but it is what it is. And here we are. I didn't get into the box, I just cut it. So I still haven't even looked. I just looked up at the camera and bam, it was off. Uh, batteries, whatever. Anyway, let's open it up, see what we see. Ah, Operation 68. Let's see what we got. Operation 68. Ooh, lots of stuff. <gasps> oh no. That's awesome. Two, three, four, five, six items. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a great one. I'm excited. Other than this one thing that I just keep getting every damn month that I'm kinda over. All right, there's a lot more crinkly paper than normal. So we're gonna get this stuff out of here. All right, the first thing on the list is from Gear Aid, the Gore-Tex Fabric Patches. It patches holes better than duct tape. Clean and dry service, cut patch, round corners, and remove backing. Apply with pressure from the center out, store patches in bag. Tip, for maximum strength repairs, apply heat with an iron at low setting. So yeah, just a couple patches to be able to patch up fabric. Uh, I guess it could be used on like tarps, tents, whatever. But there you go. Next up is the Tag Along Chill Compass. And this is just a very basic compass. It has a temperature reading here and your little dial. Just a little something to throw in, throw in a bag. Has a little loop-de-loop -loop here. You can loop it around on your bag. That way, if you get lost, hopefully it can help you find your way home. On the back of it, it actually has a wind chill chart, which is kind of cool. So if your temperature is at this and your wind speed is at this, this is your wind chill. So say it's 15 degrees outside with a 30, to 30 mile an hour wind speed, you're at negative five. That's what it feels like. So that's pretty cool. It's a little something on top of it, but uh, there's a little chart there on the back. And then you have your compass and temperature. That is very cool. I like it. All right, next up is from Gear 8 as well. This is the Revivex Instant Water Repellent. So you can take this and you can spray it on your, like a canvas bag or anything like that, and it will detour the rain or anything like that. Uh, water, to an extent, it will get it off. Treat virtually anything. That's very cool. Now this thing is really cool, okay? This is the Brunton Echo Pocket Scope, seven by 18 monocular. All right, this is really, really tiny. I'm curious to see how good it is. Tiny scope, a monocular. Little cleaning cloth, little, uh, don't eat that. And then you have your little scope here. Dude, this would be great to keep, like, in the car. Dude, that's really nice, actually. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I want to keep this in the car for reading garage sale signs. <laughs> and other things, I'm sure. I mean, I'll be able to... I mean, this would be a really cool thing to have and take with you hunting. I mean, you could just, like... 
I mean, it weighs nothing. That is really, really cool. And it's really clear, actually. Now, how it would react in low light levels, I don't know. Because the, the image or the view is a little dark. But I'm telling you, it's actually really nice. I wish you could see through it, but I don't think we can do that. I don't have, we don't have the technology. So you put a little wrist strap on it and just keep it with you and just be like, man. Oh yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's really cool. Very nice. Very nice little item. Uh, and it should be because the value on this thing is $34. It's not actually not bad of a price, but, but for the quality that that is, I'm very, I'm very stoked about it. I'm just, just going in my truck immediately tomorrow morning. <laughs> immediately tomorrow. It's just so small. It's even got a belt loop on the back of this, so you can just put this on your belt. All right, next up is from Snug Pack. This is the Enhanced Patrol Poncho. Enhanced Patrol Poncho, Patrol Poncho, Poncho, Patrol Poncho. I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I've been able to pronounce things. And just speak in general. They're giving this a $69 value. That is a, that's a healthy value. I like it because it like you could literally like squat down and this thing would cover your entire body shoes everything what you have a velcro pocket here, you got a big drop pocket, right? Then you still have your hand pockets behind it. That is awesome. This is very nice. Now I see $69. You know? Let's see if we get a little blocker here whenever you unzip it. You can zip that sucker up. Pull it up over your head. This is very, very nice. Very, very cool. I feel like Bruce Willis in that movie where he was a superhero and he wore the little poncho thing. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. I'm Bruce Willis. Kinda smells like mothballs though. I don't know how that happened, but it does smell like mothballs. It smells like my old aunt's house. Like, I had an aunt. I had a house that smelled like mothballs all the time. Last but certainly not least is a knife. And this is from the Swiss Army Company, Victorinox. I think, I don't know if I ever say that right. But uh, this is the Ranger Grip 61. And I know what this is and I am excited. I looked at this. It's been a while. I, think, I don't think this is like a new knife. I think it's been out for a little bit, but uh, I think I looked at this whenever we went up to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I think I remember looking at this thinking I wanted, I'd just gotten my first Vic, uh, Victorinox and I was like, I want another one. 
and I was looking at them and I remember seeing this one and it was kind of cool, but it just didn't have all the bells and whistles that I wanted. But at the same time, this is cool. I did not get the red and black one, like the photo. That would've been kind of cool. Actually like the red and black, whenever it comes to Swiss Army knives. But I will definitely take this, even though, you know, if it's shut, you have your big blade here. Ah. Ooh. That's a long blade right there. And I know it's sharp. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a 3.9 inch lock blade here. Then you have your, wait, where am I? Oh, you have your can opener with small screwdriver right there. And then you have your cap lifter with large locking screwdriver. A wire stripper right here. And a punch reamer. All right, that's your punch reamer there. And then your corkscrew and then down here on the end, you have your toothpick and tweezers, the tweezers. Very cool. All right, is that it? Oh, and then you got your key ring here. If you want to attach your keys to it, you have your old key attacher there. But that is it right there. You know I got to. That is a sharp knife. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Nice. Okay. That that was kind of freaking me out a little bit. So, look at the liner lock on this. All right. So, it goes all the way down the middle of the knife. You know, it goes all the way down the middle. And that sucker is locked up all the way up underneath the blade. Well, there's literally nothing there to push over. Like you can't push it over because this blade over here or this little tool is in the way but that little shield there you push it and it releases the liner lock I don't know if you can see that <laughs> so it's the button releases the liner lock for you to close it that is amazing that's awesome. I am very happy. I got me a new little Swiss Army knife here. Uh, the Ranger Group 61 is the ultimate strong single hand lock blade. There are many reasons why this knife is used so many by so many survivalists and professionals. The handle increases the multi-tools safety and efficiency by embedding special non-slip rubber right where you need it most. Features ergonomic handles with non-slip rubber, one-handed opening, 3.9 inch locking blade, can opener, small screwdriver, blah, 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 blah. We already went over all that. Uh, so very, very cool. $85 value. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And super sharp. Oh. <laughs> Very cool. I love it. Anyway, that's it. That's it for this month's box. Uh, I I loved it. I thought it was a great box. I, I love the poncho. I mean, it's a little 
it, it was weird at first, but I actually really do like it. Uh, $69, I can see why it's a very, it's, it's not just one of those little $5 ponchos you go buy at Walmart, you know, like in case of emergency. This is something that you would, it's like heavy duty. So I like it and that's all I can say. All right. If this is some stuff you'd be interested in getting a subscription box, check out the description below. Go use my discount code. Save yourself some cash. But that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't in the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff, and subscribe. I'm out.